like what's up hey what's good <laughs> so what brings you to philly so i'm here in philly i'm hosting at vanity grand tonight Do you host a lot of parties yeah i get a i get a bookings at least like once a week okay so you host a lot of parties but you also you also rap and sing right basically I just put out a single like a week ago. As far as the music, I've always rap, sing, did poetry and everything, but right now I'm basically I'm actually doing it. Like I'm actually going to try it out and put the energy into it. So I just dropped my single Daddy last week. It's doing cool. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Shazam, YouTube, everywhere. So stream it. Download it. Fuck with me. So what inspired you to do music? Like I said before, like I've always been involved in music. I used to sing when I was younger. And I used to literally travel and sing and stuff like that. And then I used to joke around with the music like as far as the rap. I will just be spitting bars with my friends. And a lot of the guys that I'm around are already involved in music. So, you know, hindsight now, like the music industry is, is basically giving out money and I have a passion for it and it's just like why not jump in and, and take a piece of the pie so that's what I'm here to do and I, I, I feel like I got a decent following and I really know how to rap I really could do this so it's just like why not give it a try and, and see what's up and there's a lot of lanes right now opening up for women to get involved so yeah, basically that's what's going on with me Okay, so the name Nina Delight, how do you come up with that name? It's very different. <laughs> everybody says Nina Delight. It's really Nina the Elite. Mm -hmm. But I, I let everybody call me Nina Delight because I don't know that everybody's gravitating to that. So Nina the Elite, aka Nina the Elite, aka Baddest Morena. But um, <laughs> the name, that's crazy that I, I don't remember. I, um. <laughs> I think I came up with the name like what 2012. Yeah, it had to be 2012. I actually did like a fake skid bid type of situation, and I came out and I had made like a page, and I always said I was elite. You know what I'm saying? I'm different. I'm elite. So that's how it came, Nina the Elite, and I already was called Nina. So that's how it started, and people jacked it, so I ran with it. Where are you from? And what's it like there? Hold on one second. I'm from New York City. I'm from Queens. Queens? Yeah, Queens get the money. QGTM. I'm from Queens, New York. Um, from Northside though, from Farmers. Nice. Farmers in 121. Um, I love Queens. Like I'm like a real Queens girl. I I can go to Southside and they know me over there. 109 in God Brewer. I could come to Hollis and they gonna know me in Woodhall. And I, I could go to Henderson, H and Y. Okay. That's really my team. Okay, I could go over there in Liberty in 184. And I know everybody there. I know everybody at the square. I'm really Queens. Like, I'm really like the the princess of Queens at this point. So the princess of Queens. Yeah. Is that like your, your uh, mixtape title? <laughs> the princess of Queens. Nah, that's just something. I, that's something I'm running with. They calling me the queen of Queens, but you know they say Nikki the queen of Queens or whatever. So I'm a I'm gonna yeah. let her have the title as at this point. Is there any other female rappers or artists in Queens who you want to work with? Um. In Queens, or or just New York in, in general? Nah, I mean I'm I'm proud of like what Cardi B got going on for sure. I mean if the time comes, I, I would definitely work with her, and I would definitely work with Nicki Minaj because it's a Queens thing We're from Queens, so it's just like no hate on that one. But I'm feeling myself, so I'm just gonna be putting out shit just with myself. Okay. You're a very pretty girl, so a lot of guys are wondering, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. I'm focused right now. Like, I'm just trying to get to it and put all my ventures out on the table and grind until something falls into play. Is it hard kind of like balancing regular life but trying to be an artist? No, I've always been a grinder and I'm, I've always been working towards something. I have a swim line that's already established. It's called Elite Swim. 
So I was just living in LA. I just moved back to New York in January to, to pursue the music and to really focus because I got more of my outlets here in New York. But when I was just living in LA, I established my swim line called Elite Swim. So I'm an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just a businesswoman altogether. So it's not really hard. It, it's just hard work and that's anything that you want to pursue. You got to put the work in. So now I'm pursuing the music and I'm going to put the work in to be successful at it. So it's nothing. A lot of people want to be entrepreneurs. They, they fail, some, some succeed. What advice would you give to like a younger person or, or a younger girl who wants to be an entrepreneur? I mean, just figure out what you want, write it down, set a plan and really work at it. Like really work at it think about it every day and do something every day towards it and it's gonna happen and keep keep having positive thoughts and, and put that positive energy in the air and the universe is gonna give give you back whatever you put out so that's all you got to do is remember this to stay positive and and keep good energy and you got to work hard like nothing nothing is free nothing's gonna be handed to you like you've got to grind you got to work hard like everybody looks at somebody's situation when they make it and feel like they're they didn't work hard like they've been grinding so that's what you that's the key to anything okay so as far as the music go what's your process of building a song do you start with the beat first do you write the lyrics down first what's the process i mean i'm i'm really good musically like more or less I can I can do both honestly like if I'm vibing in the studio and I hear a beat I can kind of just j jump in and just come up with stuff I might come it off the top of my head or I can write it down. Sometimes I wake up and I could really just be thinking something and I could just really be writing like I have a bunch of sh a bunch of shit in my notes that I'm just like, okay, and I just write it and then you could put it to the beat. So it's really either or for me. So if you had to choose between hosting, modeling, and music, what would you choose? I mean, all of that shit comes coincides with each other. Once you start doing music, um, you're gonna get the bookings for the music, the performances. So being a host and a and a musician come together, you have to be prepared to do all three actually. Because when you're out there and you're the face of something, you are a model, man or woman. You are a host and you are a musician. So in this world, 2018, that's the whole combination. If you don't have all three, then it's hard to tell if you're gonna get far in the industry. So as far as 2018, are you dropping the, um, any mixtapes, any visuals? Yeah, like, give me two months. We call it, like, end of May-ish. I'm definitely dropping the EP, you know what I'm saying, five, six records. It's halfway done already, so. But right now, I'm just pushing my single, Daddy, right now. It's only been a week, basically. So I'm just pushing that. The video is going to drop in, like, two weeks. And we're just going to see where it goes from there. But I'm definitely going to attack it and let people know I'm serious about this because I'm, I'm making a transition from Insta model to, you know what I'm saying, musician. So the people definitely got to know that I'm here to stay and I'm fucking with it. Is it hard transitioning from Insta model to musician? I mean, it's not hard for me, but I feel like it's hard for the fan base to transition from... You know, I, I'm gonna remain sexy, but I posted a lot of sexy pictures and stuff. So for me to jump into music, some a lot of people are jacking it, and some people are hating, or they just might not they not used to it yet. So they gotta see that I'm really you know doing it. So I'm gonna let y'all take your time and get used to it, cause I'm here.